This is Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestant. Player one. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Good luck to you in the Jeopardy round. For this game, the categories are as follows. An organic category. Where's that? Theater ghosts. Mobilized. Easter. And sports legends. A lot of clues, a lot of categories. Player one, make a selection. 1916's Easter Rebellion against British rule was centered in this capital city. Here's the correct response. Dublin. Player one, you pick again, please. These fundraising stamps for disabled children were first issued in 1934. Here's the correct response. Easter Seals. Select again. Sarah will present this clue. Named for when it was first visited, Easter Island, with its giant stone statues, is a territory of this country. Okay, player one. No. That's not right. Here is what we wanted. Chile. Player one, back to you. This Hollywood landmark began observing its famous Easter sunrise service in 1921. Here's what we were looking for, the Hollywood Bowl. Player one, back to you for our next selection. This location's first Easter egg roll was on April 22nd, 1878. We're talking about White House. You get to pick again, player one. Le Petit Théâtre du Vieux Carré in this U.S. city has several ghosts, including that of an actress who fell to her death. Here's the response we were looking for. New Orleans. Player one, you pick again, please. The man in this drab color who haunts the Drury Lane Theater may be the ghost of a man found bricked up in a wall there. Here's the correct response. Gray. We return to you, player one. The lady in blue seen in this Scottish city's Royal Lyceum Theater may be the actress Ellen Terry. We're talking about Edinburgh. Player one, pick again. And here's Kelly. A ghost known as the Black Phantom used to appear in a mirror at the Empire Theater in this port city. Ringo Starr's hometown. We're talking about Liverpool. Player one, you pick again, please. Melbourne's Princess Theatre boasts the ghost of a singer who died after playing this devilish role in Faust. The correct response is Mephistopheles. You again, player one. A dialysis machine is also called an artificial one of these organs. Okay, player one. No, oh, sorry. Here's the correct response. The kidney. You get to pick again, player one. Alveoli are tiny sacs clustered like grapes in these organs. Here's the correct response. The lungs. You get to pick again, player one. Though this organ has no known use, it can harm you if it ruptures, creating the risk of peritonitis. We're talking about the appendix. Player one, pick again. The hepatic duct carries bile from the liver to this organ for storage. Player one. Hey, you're right. You're out of the hole. Player one, back to you for our next selection. The islets of Langerhans aren't a vacation spot. 
but a group of cells in this organ. We're talking about the pancreas. Player one, you pick again, please. Upon its 1914 completion, this shortened a ship's voyage between New York City and San Francisco by about 8,000 miles. The correct response is the Panama Canal. We return to you, player one. Looking like it's going to get the boot and covering nearly 10,000 square miles, it's the largest island in the Mediterranean. Here's what we wanted, Sicily. Player one, back to you. Answer, <laughs> the Daily Double. You are in the lead right now. Player one, give us a wager. Okay, here is the clue. Portland, Salem, and Eugene are the largest cities in this state. Oh. No, nope. sorry. Here's the correct response. Oregon. You again, player one. Wellington is its capital. Here's the correct response. New Zealand. Player one, back to you. Take me to your lemur. This island country lies about 240 miles east of the African mainland. Here's the correct response. Madagascar. Please pick again, player one. A mechanical device used to indicate musical tempo. Yes, player one? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Woo. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Fly agaric is one of these spore-producing fungi of the Basidiomycetes class. Here's the correct response. A mushroom. Player one, back to you for our next selection. It can be a powerful person in entertainment, or a member of a Muslim dynasty that once ruled India. Yes, player one? <laughs> yes, you've got some money again. Player one, you pick again, please. Someone who moves from relationship to relationship is a serial one. Player one? Sorry, that's wrong. Here's the correct response. A monogamist. Player one, back to you for our next selection. This large tube-shaped pasta is often stuffed with cheese and baked with a tomato sauce. Yes, player one? Yeah! Right. Good, back on the plus side. Player one, you pick again, please. Barry Bonds broke this man's home run record of 755. Yes, player one? Oh, sorry. That's in. Here's the response we were looking for. Hank Aaron. You get to pick again, player one. This seven-time Tour de France champ said the New York City Marathon was the hardest physical thing he'd ever done. We're talking about Lance Armstrong. Select again. From 1984 to 1992, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, and this man won all the NBA's regular season MVP awards. Player one? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Player one, you pick again, please. In 1904, he became the first pitcher in the American League to throw a perfect game. An award is named for him. Here's the correct response. Cy Young. Let's have a look at the $1,000 clue. Here's Kelly with the clue. The Green Bay Packers maintain a replica of the office of this legendary coach known for his commitment to winning. Here's the correct response. Vince Lombardi. The Double Jeopardy round will begin right after this. And we have two daily doubles awaiting you in these categories. Complete the opera title. 
Very, very good. College football coaching legends. The 15th century. Famous Canadians. And metals. Let's get back into this now. You have control of the board. Wagner. The flying blank. It's player one. You got it. <laughs> player one, choose again. Goldmark. The cricket on the blank. The correct response is hearth. Select again. Monotti. Blank and the night visitors. Here's what we were looking for. Amal. Player one, back to you. Philip Glass. Blank on the beach. The correct response is Einstein. We return to you, player one. Donizetti. Lucia di Blanc. Here's the correct response. Lammermoor. Player one. Pick again. Woody Hayes, 1951 to 1978. The correct response is Ohio State. You get to pick again, player one. Bo Schembechler, 1969 to 1989. We're talking about Michigan. Please pick again, player one. Answer. Yeah. The first of the daily doubles. You are in first place. Please enter your wager. Okay, here is the clue. Tom Osborne, 1973-1997. No, that's not right. We're talking about Nebraska. Player one, choose again. Bobby Bowden, 1976 to 2009. Here is what we wanted. Florida State. We return to you, player one. Vince Dooley, 1964 to 1988. Here is the response we were looking for. Georgia. Select again. In 1917 and 1918, Ontario's Billy Bishop claimed 72 aerial victories as an ace in this war. Yes, player one? Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> player one, choose again. Toronto-born journalist Morley Safer began co-hosting this TV news magazine way back in 1970. Here's the correct response. 60 minutes. Player one, back to you. Here's Jimmy from our Clue Crew with the clue. This mariner's 16th century explorations of the Gulf of St. Lawrence laid the basis for French claims to Canada. Here's the correct response. Jacques Cartier. You again, player one. Co-discoverer of this pancreatic hormone, Ontario's Frederick Banting won a 1923 Nobel Prize. The correct response is insulin. You get to pick again, player one. This Nova Scotia man founded a famous line of ships in 1838. Here's what we were looking for. Samuel Cunard. Please pick again, player one. Pricier than gold, it's the metal of Jennifer Lopez's albums and of her earrings at the premiere of El Cantante. Yes, player one? We're talking about platinum. Player one, back to you. Let's get Sarah's assistance on this clue. By studying seismic waves, scientists concluded that the Earth is made up of four layers, the crust, mantle, a liquid outer core, and a solid inner core, made mainly of this metal. It's player one. Right. <laughs> You get to pick again, player one. Antimony gives strength and hardness to this metal. 
so you don't have those mushy bullets. It's player one. <laughs> that is correct. Select again. Brass is an alloy of copper and this. The more this, the less malleable. Player one. Right. <laughs> Player one, you pick again, please. Answer. <laughs> the other daily double. You are in the lead right now. What are you going to wait for? Here is your daily double clue. To withstand the pressure over 14,000 feet down, the submersible Alvin's hull is this metal, about two inches thick. Here's what we wanted. Titanium. We return to you, player one. On July 3rd, 1450, peasant leader Jack Cade entered this capital in triumph. By July 12th, he was dead. The correct response is London. Player one, choose again. A rebellion of his brothers Andre and Boris was stopped by this ruler the third. Come on, how many Russian names are left? Here is what we wanted. Ivan the Third. We return to you, player one. This Portuguese prince wasn't just about exploration. He and his brother Fernando tried to conquer Tangier and failed miserably. Here is the response we were looking for. Henry the Navigator. You again, player one. In 1453, the last Byzantine emperor, the 11th of this name, died in the vain defense of his city. The correct response is Constantine. You get to pick again, player one. A masterpiece of illumination is the circa 1415 book Les Très Riches Heures du This Duke. Here is the response we were looking for. The Duc de Berry. You get to pick again, player one. Dawes Butler voiced this animated TV hound. Okay, player one. <laughs> good. Player one, pick again. These are forever in a top ten hit from 1967. Here's the response we were looking for. Strawberry Fields. Player one, pick again. Pro boxers have been battling under this Marcus's rules since the late 1800s. Here's the correct response. Queensberry. We return to you, player one. Title Avenue in Theodore Geisel's first book. Player one. Good for you. Here's the $2,000 clue. Inept policeman in Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing. Here's what we were looking for. Dogberry. You are moving on to Final Jeopardy, which will continue after these messages. Everything depends on Final Jeopardy, of course, so let's take a look at the category, shall we? Italian inventors. What are you going to wait for? And the clue reads, In 1910, his new invention helped Scotland Yard catch a murderer escaping to North America across the Atlantic. Did you come up with the correct response? And that will lose you. The correct response is Guglielmo Marconi. <laughs> Player one, congratulations yeah. to you. So long.